I'm Benicia de Souza. I'm studying first year law and I'm originally from the Caribbean. I'm going to be talking about Dalkas Howe. He was a really prominent political figure for black history. He was born in Trinidad and he moved to the UK when he was a teen to study law. But when he moved here, he found a real passion for journalism and political activism, which is why he made such an impact. And he ended up joining the British Black Panthers, which were a black power movement that started in the US, but eventually spread internationally. Darkest Howe was part of the Mangrove Nine. The Mangrove was a restaurant where many prominent black political figures would meet and they would have gatherings. It was eventually targeted by the Met Police and many drug raids were carried out without having any substantial basis. Being raided with no pretext would feel incredibly angering because you know you've done nothing wrong, but you still keep getting targeted, you still keep getting told that your position, just gathering with other like-minded people, gathering with other people from the same race is dangerous, you shouldn't be doing it. And just to get raided for that pure point is just incredibly angry, incredibly dehumanizing, I would feel. Eventually, due to these raids, Howe and the other eight that were part of the Mangrove Nine decided to carry out a protest. And eventually, it led to the Mangrove Nine being arrested with charges of incite to riot, which is a very serious charge. At the trial, Howe and a few other of the Mangrove Nine decided to represent themselves. Howe did have a background in law, but some of them didn't. He did request for an all-black jury because they believed that this was of racial hatred, and it was. And if it was an all-white jury, then perhaps he would not get the results that he wanted. They knew they were innocent and they were determined to make other people believe that they were innocent as well. But eventually he was acquitted of all charges. The trial was so important because it was the first judicial acknowledgement of racial hatred and racial targeting in the Met Police and it was also important because the court did say that the Met Police targeted Mangrove restaurant due to racial hatred and not because they wanted to do crime patrol. The impact on the Met wasn't much as 17 years later they continued to harass the Mangrove Nine. One of the Mangrove Nine, Frank Critchlow, he was framed for having heroin but eventually he did win the case against the Met Police and was given £50,000 in damages. We also see Stephen Lawrence, which also occurred 17 years later. He was stabbed in a racial attack, but because of the police's inaction, they were eventually acquitted, and only after another 17 years were he, was he given justice. Even if you're being challenged by people that you think are very powerful and you might lose a fight, you shouldn't give up. You should remain passionate about what you are passionate about and to always go for your goals, always go and show people who you are and that you really do matter.